So, Dad, what are you going to show us uh, today? Well, well this is uh, cutting a piece of sandstone up in the old way with we cut some grooves in and then put wedges in and break it like that. And this is the way it was, it was done in the past. All stone came out of the quarry in bigger pieces. It's like this has just been pulled out of a quarry. And then it was cut up into sections or pieces that someone could dress it then. But this is uh, the sort of first stage. So they didn't use like plugs and feathers around here so much, did they? Well, they used plugs and feathers with the bigger stones. With big blocks, yeah. These big blocks were plug and feathers, but on anything up to sort of that depth, it cut it with wedges, because yeah. it's a quicker and easier thing to do. Yeah, yeah, and you don't need a drill. And, and you, you don't just need... need a drill, a power, or anything like that. Yeah. So, so what... this is, uh, well... Yeah, what tools have we, we got start here? start off, this is, uh, this is the pick, it's called a delving pick. This one's a little bit blunt, but it'll still work, I think. <laughs> and first, this is the one that you use for a start. And uh, so I'll, I'll go. <laughs> it's some very hard stone, this, but it has to go. <laughs> on and off since I was about 13 or 14 years old. There was a little quarry outside of where I lived and uh, my dad showed me how to do it and I soon got doing it then. Very hard for sandstone, it's some of the hardest I've ever had to, to cut into so we'll see how it goes on. I'll put another, I'll cut another, another one here hole, now. Yeah. It all depends on the depth of the stone to, to uh, how, how near you put each wedge all to the other. A piece of stone like this too would be, would be plenty. So I'll, I'll cut another one here. Although there's dust coming off it with a bit of breeze like there is, it's blowing it away before it gets up, so I'm breathing it in. So it's uh, safe. Yeah, it can't have been right good from uh, working in quarry day in, day out, back in the day, could it? <laughs> breathing all that not dust in. No, not if there were a lot together, I mean. I've heard them talk about these banker sheds where they were all dressed in stone and, and they were inside and yeah. these masons didn't live very long. No, like in the 40s maybe. Yeah, that's all, yeah. But then again I had an uncle, at, uh, a great uncle should I say. He was the best mason in our family. And he, he did a lot of uh, dressing stone banker work fine dust but he always worked outside if he could where the wind was taking it away <laughs> right that's the delving peak now I'll uh, have this smaller finer peak which is called a bottomer obviously to bottom get the out. bottom of the thing out It's when it starts to make that different sound, isn't it, when you know it's getting there? There's like a squeaking noise that it sometimes does. <laughs> when you get right to the bottom, you've got to get it really narrow at the bottom. Yeah, and that's, that's why that pick's so sharp, isn't it? It's, uh... That's right. And also the wedges are wider at the bottom, they don't go to a point because the idea is for them not to touch the bottom of the hole. There, it starts a noise at it. <laughs> I mean, this is particularly hard stone. It wouldn't have taken us most sandstones. You'd cut it quicker than this. I can try it anyway. Now, it's possible if you want. I don't... I've never really done it much but you can just go with your your nicking chisel and and cut down the sides which could help to guide it
but you always try and cut a stone in the middle because delving means divide and if you try and cut a bit off one end it could just scalp out like that but if you cut it in the middle the resistance is equal both sides well, we can give it a go now yeah well you can see these wedges you see how wide they are at the bottom the idea is obviously that the bottom of the wedge doesn't touch the bottom of the hole it just puts pressure on the sides so then you can just give them a little tap in with a little hammer little -ish, to make sure they're fast Rowler, come on out at way come here come on come here right okay. get it to me now and then it's a case of getting a big hammer sledgehammer quarry mall call it what you will and breaking it get your fingers crossed <laughs> what i do is because these can jump out the door. So what I do, I stand diagonally to the hole, so in, say, it can't jump out and hit me that way and it can't jump out sideways and hit me if I'm stood like this. So Raoul, keep your eyes peeled. See, that's jumped out. What I might do there is just... Try it again. Rowler, come on, come here. Feel till it's bit as come the Come here, say. come on. Out it way. <laughs> Do you want football at it? Yeah. We'll try again. Rowler, come here. Right, Rowler. <laughs> we'll try again, shall we? It's jumping again. That one's a bit. It must be this wedge. A bit wedge, yeah. There, there. we go. <laughs> right, I'll just get this in close up. Now it's uh, it's gone near enough straight, near near enough as we'd need for what we're doing. And then it just obviously you couldn't cut. You couldn't break a stone this size just by hitting it with a big hammer or you'd be lucky and it wouldn't go as it wouldn't go as straight would it? It wouldn't go as straight as that. Right, 